Frogs don't sing bread. I can't find amphibians in the bone-like fibers twisted on red canvas in a red room, but I can hear their song across a lazy pond, a jasmine-scented memory waiting for the breeze to play its melody through still leaves. A quiet punctuated by green throbbing throats and fireflies, the cries of children's hide and seek, while I nestle a silkworm spinning threads under the mulberry tree on the night damp ground. Leaving Comfort, Texas on FM 473. Young, lithe, lovely, she races down the farm to market road, dodging my car, searching for courage. The buck she runs with carries a rack of antlers that mark him seasons older. But age makes no difference to this young doe. With the elegant grace of a ballet dancer, he leaps the six-foot barbed wire fence and pauses in the field, turning his head toward her as they begin a parallel course. His eyes command, jump, jump, now, now. And I think of my own fears of leaping as I pull to the side of the road. The doe charges the barrier. Each time when her young legs refuse to leap, my blood leaps for them. My breath held as she halts, lowers her head in what seems a moment of prayer. Or perhaps the prayer is mine. <laughs>